Welcome to the ultimate flagship Android chipset comparison. So we know that Qualcomm makes the Snapdragon 8 Elite, MediaTek makes the Dimensity 9400, Samsung makes Exynos, and Google also makes Tensor. But now Xiaomi has entered the ring with X-Ring 01 inside this phone, the Xiaomi 15s Pro. So the moment we got this phone, we were like, okay, fine, let's just figure out how is this chipset performing? And trust me, the results are very, very interesting. And Xiaomi's done a fantastic job with its first SOC. So to know all about that, stay tuned with me till the end. If you're watching me for the first time, I'm Esha. This is Track & Tech English, your destination for detailed, incisive performance comparisons. To start off with, take a look at the CPU architecture of the X-Ring 01 compared to all the other architectures. And here itself, Xiaomi has hit it out of the ball. It is a Decker Core CPU and it's based on TSMC's 3 nanometer fabrication process. Anyways, the first thing that we did is run benchmarks, which is obviously what we do. So the first test that we ran is the Ant2 test. And in that, what we noticed is that the Dimensity 9400 and the Snapdragon 8 Elite come really close. But there are situations where the Snapdragon 8 Elite can go higher in certain phones that we've tested, where it reaches close to 2.8 million. With the Dimensity 9400, we've seen anywhere between 2.6 to 2.66 with the X-Ring 01, the score is also very, very close. It goes up to 2.4, 2.5 million, which is very good. So we're off to a very good start for the X-Ring 01. And yes, of course, there is the Tensor G4 inside the Pixel 9 Pro. And well, you can see the scores for yourself. Next up, we ran Geekbench, which is fantastic for testing CPU performance across all these phones. And here, what we noticed is that the single core CPU score and the multi-core CPU score is in touching distance of the Snapdragon 8 Elite, which is currently the reigning champion, by the way. Now, in comparison, the X200 Pro with the Domestic 9400 comes very close. It doesn't breach the 8000 score in multi-core and it goes to about 2.6K in uh, single core, which is also pretty good. But then we look at Tensor G4, which is, by the way, I keep talking about the Tensor G4 because because it is inside a flagship phone and this one costs like, you know, nearly a lakh. And the performance is just, uh, again, pixel being pixel. Now, another test that we run is a CPU throttling test where we, you know, engage 40 threads for 30 minutes. And here the numbers are very interesting. See, the OnePlus 13 has the best CPU stability, but the average chip score is lower than that of the Xiaomi 15 Ultra. Both of these phones have the Snapdragon 8 Elite, and this gives you an indication of how the performance tuning is done by OnePlus and Xiaomi. So basically, OnePlus throttles performance to get better CPU stability, but Xiaomi actually lets it, you know, breathe a little bit more. This is exactly what we noticed with the OnePlus 13S and the Xiaomi 15 as well. But here's something very interesting that we noticed. If you look at the average chip score of the X200 Pro with the Dimensity 9400, and the X-Ring 01 with the Xiaomi 15S Pro, you will notice that the chip score is much higher than that of the Snapdragon 8 Elite. So over here, you will notice that to achieve the better CPU stability, Dimensity 9400 doesn't have that high of an average chips as the Xiaomi 15S Pro does, which is the highest average chips, but the lowest stability score. So this is clearly, again, an indication of Xiaomi's performance tuning itself. And the capabilities of the X-Ring 01, again, out here, look very, very impressive. As for the Pixel 9 Pro, again, it's got the CPU stability in the ballpark range of the other phones, but look at the average chips again. It's not even reaching close to the other phones. And for the final test, we did a real-world gaming test where we played Genshin Impact for 30 minutes at highest graphics and a target of 60 FPS. Now, over here, Pixel obviously didn't work with the tool that we used, but it was hovering anywhere in the 45 to 50 FPS range. And therefore, the average FPS can be considered anywhere between 45 to 50. But if you take a look at all the other phones, they are like in touch distance of giving you 60 FPS locked performance for 30 minutes on Genshin Impact. But what's interesting to note is that the Xiaomi 15S Pro, I expected it to get hot. And this was surprising to us primarily because a lot of people who were testing were saying that the Xiaomi 15S Pro gets unbearably hot, but it didn't translate to real world gaming performance, at least in our testing. In fact, it was the coolest of all the three phones after 30 minutes of playing Genshin Impact. It didn't even breach 35 degrees, which is fantastic and bodes well for the Xiaomi 15S Pro. So the X-Ring 01 overall is a very, very good first SOC by Xiaomi. Unfortunately, the X-Ring 01 is currently only like a showcase system on chip, which is going to be available inside the Xiaomi 15S Pro and going to be sold only in China. And here's a funny thing that happened after the X-Ring 01 was announced. A lot of us wondering what happens to Xiaomi's like, you know, very close partnership that it has with Qualcomm. Because every year, 
when Qualcomm announces its new chipset, which is basically Snapdragon 8 Elite, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, and now it'll be the 8 Elite 2, Xiaomi is the first one to say that, yes, we are going to be bringing phones with this chipset. And in this scenario where X-Ring 01 was announced to quell any sort of doubts, Qualcomm went ahead and the very next day posted a photo of their very strong partnership with Xiaomi, which means that globally Xiaomi will still continue using Snapdragon 8 Elite. So I really don't know what is the idea behind this chipset. Is it Xiaomi's way of flexing its muscles saying that we can also make an SOC if need be? Or is Xiaomi actually going to bring X-Ring as its SOC of choice across phones in the near future? What do you think it could be? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this performance comparison. We definitely enjoyed doing it for you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.